Cancers. My what a sign, Cancer. Eh, eh, eh. Now let me stop. <laughs> what is up? What is good with y'all? I'm so sorry I've been gone. I've been taking a little break, but I'm back for y'all doing y'all reading on if your person will reach out to you. Let me make sure this is straight. <laughs> so if you want to know if your person is going to talk to you, if they're going to reach out, if they're going to send you a message of some sort, this reading is for you. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Brooklyn Knights 1111. You should see my name at the top right here. Make sure that you guys, if you haven't already, now let me say this. If you like the way I read, if you like my content, if you if it resonates with you, somebody around you, or if you could just sit and relate to this situation, make sure you guys give this reading a big thumbs up. It really helps us out, and it really lets me know that you guys like this reading. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any other content, and please turn your notifications on all. So it can always pop up on your screen when I do a reading. You'll be the first to see. I'm going to jump straight into your spread. And then we're going to get to the additional messages after that. So stick around until the end. Let's jump into this energy. Whoa. So you feel like this person is your soulmate? Or that's how you were feeling? You could be de dealing with a Gemini. Okay? But you feel like, you know, spirit brought you two together. There's a strong magnetic attraction, a sexual attraction that you have for this person. But I feel like somebody is stressing, staying up all night, not eating, not sleeping, having some sort of negative talk, or just there's anxiety and depression here. This may be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini that you're dealing with. Why is that? A soulmate is stressed out. Stressed out, okay? I feel like this person will reach out to you, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini with the Ace of Swords. This person will reach out to you, okay? They may bring some honest, truthful communication towards you. Or this is just the truth that had came out. You may have found something out. But I feel like some of you are recovering from a breakup. This might have happened in the past. I feel like you cut this person out of your life here. And I feel like that... You may have been recovering from a breakup that was in turmoil, okay? Your relationship may have been in turmoil. But I feel like there will be communication. <clears throat> there will be some communication, okay? It's all in divine timing. Not my timing, not your timing. It's divine timing, okay? But I do see that the will is going to turn in your favor. I do see a lot of good things happening for you. Your luck and fortune is changing. But you or this person may have felt like y'all was meant to be together. Or it's destiny for you two to be together, okay? But this is a karmic. This is a karmic that you're dealing with. And I do see that you're staying true to yourself, okay? And you're not you're not being fake. And I do see you're going to have success and victory here, okay? And your luck and fortune is going to change. It may be involved in working with small children, but I do see that someone here may be reminiscing on the past. This may be you or your person. You could be dealing with a fellow Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? Somebody here is reminiscing about the past. You may have grown up with this person. You may have known this person from childhood. This may be somebody, a friend, or, you know, somebody may want to give you something. Okay, but I do feel like somebody here does want forgiveness here, or the this person from the past is going to be coming back. This person from the past is going to be showing up or coming back around. They want forgiveness or reconcile. It, it all depends on your story. Everybody's story is different, okay? But I do see that this may have happened in the past, okay, with the Six of Cups. This may have been a thing of the past, right? Where it left you feeling very disappointed, sad, and down over the past, over spilled milk, things that happened in the past. For some of you in the past, you were crying over the situation here. But this person, they do have regret and they do have remorse for the things that they have done in the past. And I feel like. You guys have been left to be single parents, but I feel like this person knows how intuitive you are, okay? And I do see you listening to your intuition, but this person is in search of their emotions. 
they're in regret and so they may try to come to you like the queen of cups like they're innocent this may be somebody that you were married to that you lived with shared a home family with or this may be somebody you've talked about building a life in the future with moving in together and starting a legacy something that you can tell your grandchildren when you two get of age okay and i do see that you are listening to your intuition and you're very happy okay your money's looking good for you you have family who matters to you around you to support you okay and i do see two dogs right here which means loyalty this may be a husband or somebody that we're talking about here oh my god i'm so sorry cancers but like i was saying I feel like you wanted to grow with this person and establish some sort of security and um, stability here with this person. Like I said, this may be a husband that we're talking about. Why is the Six of Cups here? You may have cut this person out of your life and the wheel has turned. Things are going to go in your favor. Like I said, this may have happened in the past. So this happened already. Yeah. I do see you intuitive mind body and soul okay but this person is thinking very logically and practical about a situation here from the past you may have been a wife or a spouse or you may be pregnant or have children by this person you may be a mother figure okay and I do see that um you're creating something new you're tapping into your creative energy Okay, and I do see that you're starting something new, like a, the birth of a baby here. Okay, and this person definitely had regrets because they were being a player, running around, acting a damn fool, you know, being flighty, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am type of action, coming in hot and heavy, you know, very lustful type of energy. This person, they just wanted their freedom they wanted to do whatever they wanted to do you know even if you were married to them they were being a player okay this was a a father figure or somebody that is the father the parent of your child i feel like they do want to take action towards you but they may be overthinking it they're not outwardly expressing how they feel okay so they may be wearing a mask they're not they're not this reading got me stuttering, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're now wearing their heart on their sleeve, okay? Why is the Five of Cups here? Why is the Five of Cups here for Cancers and Love? Why is the Five of Cups here? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, please help me to clarify the Five of Cups. Yeah. They have regrets and remorse because you, you're standing in your power. I feel like you've taken your power back and you're being protected. But this person, you may be dealing with the parent of your child. And so they see how sexy you are. You know, they see how protected you are. They do have a lot of passion for you. But I feel like this person is still attracted to you or you're attracted to them still. So somebody's disappointed here because there's still some uh, level of attraction between you and them there may have been two baby mamas in here I'm just saying not for everybody for some of y'all okay there may be there's there's three women showing up you this may be all your energy okay the Empress the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups so we'll see if there was another woman involved we're gonna clarify yeah they have a lot of passion for you still, or you have a lot of passion for them still. Um, but I feel like somebody does want to take action towards you, and it may be the parent of your child here. All right? Why is the Queen of Cups here? But this player needs to go to therapy, or they going to therapy, or some type of uh, counseling. There may be counseling that needs to take place, or therapy for somebody here. All right? Yeah, and with the Queen of Cups, this person is in search of their emotions um, about speaking to you. But I do see communication for some of you coming in really, really quickly. I do see this person reaching out to you. This may be messages or phone calls. This is the fast, rapid communication. So this may be online. Okay? 
But for some of you, I feel like you're in search of your emotions. You're very intuitive. You're listening to your intuition. You're very sweet, loving, kind, and, gear, and giving type of motherly energy here. So you may be a mother that has children, but I feel like there's a swift change that happened in your energy. And it happened rather quickly. Okay, I do see you traveling. And I do see things looking very good for you with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, your money's looking good. Your family is, is good, you know. You're not really upset about being a single parent. But the situation does disappoint you. Okay? And I feel like some of you were married to this person. Y'all shared a home and had a family together. Okay? Trying to build a legacy. Trying to, you know, build something that will stand the test of time here. But I do feel like there may have been a lot of secrets or things hidden from you that this person kept... Um, to themselves, they may have kept you in the dark about a lot of things, and it caused confusion, all right, and this person, they have some sort of a fear. They have fear going on right here, okay, and they may be trying to get advice from somebody about this. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Cancers, like I said, with that higher font. You may be married to this person, or you may. Hmm. Some of you may still be holding on to past issues or something that happened in the past. You may be still holding on to it. I feel like you're not opening up to this person right now. You may be holding back, all right? But energetically, this this person has a family with you, and for some of you, this person is still holding on to you. For a lot of you, this person is still holding on to you, okay? Because I feel like when they were living with you and together with you, they were, they were well, I can't speak today. They were resisting some sort of a change, and they were holding back and not opening up to you. But I do see your money looking very, very good. I do see that you're saving up money for a home or retirement or a car or some sort of a big purchase. You may be keeping to yourself or isolating yourself here. Be careful for that isolating energy. All right. I do feel like a lot of you still have feelings for this person. You may still be in love with this person here. Okay. But I feel like this person, they're holding on to you. They still have feelings for you. There may be a new love coming towards you for some of y'all. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Thank you. Yeah. You were holding back and, 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 and not opening up to this player. Or this player was holding back and not opening up to you. Because they were running the street, doing whatever they wanted to do. Being flighty. In and out, on and off. This person was just in and out of your life right here. Okay. And I feel like that cycle has been closed out. You took some sort of an action and closed this cycle out. Okay. With this person. Could be a husband or a father figure here. Or a father, parent of your child. But I feel like there's a lot of travel happening for you and your energy. You may be traveling now or you soon will be traveling. I feel like new doors are going to be opening up for you. And your spirit guides, your angels, and your ancestors are protecting you. They're watching over you. All right? But with this person, you know, being a player, it's just like they were leaving things up in the air. You know? Why is the Knight of Wands here? Clarify the Knight of Wands. Or You could be dealing with the Leo Aries Sagittarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, your energy is here, Gemini is here, Libra, Aries is here. Yeah, so this person, they wanted to be flighty, they wanted to be a player, they wanted to be in and out of your life and run the streets, and here you go. You put their ass out on the street, where they belong, where they are on the street. You want to be on the street, you go be out in the street. I feel like you put this person out of the house, alright, they lost their stability, and they may have, you know have suffered some serious uh, it's like this person had financial issues they became very sick or ill they may have had some sort of a disease 
But I feel like when this person was being a player towards you, they made you feel neglected, left out in the cold, you know, abandoned. You know? And you just felt left out, okay? You might feel like, you you know, okay, like, I have a lot of family, but I'm the outcast. With the four of pentacles showing up. But this person, I feel like this was a breakup that happened. You took action and, and broke up with this person and put them out. All right? And with the four of, um, I'm sorry, with the five of pentacles, there was some sort of anxiety. Somebody has anxiety. Or this player gave you anxiety. Alright. But I see you moving forward. You may have moved after you put this person out of the house. You may have moved or relocated. City or state or different country. This person might live in a different city or state or country from you. But you're moving forward. And this person is stressing out. They staying up all night. They can't eat. They can't sleep. Somebody is staying up all night and can't eat and can't sleep. And they worry. They worried about how many options you gonna have, how many lovers or work uh, uh, offers or opportunities gonna come towards you because this person definitely kept their options open and kept you as an option. Like how you gonna keep the empress as an option? That is no. Because I feel like this person whom you know since childhood, I feel like you weren't willing to settle for less than what you feel like you deserved. All right, and I feel like this person from your childhood got you pregnant at an early age. All right, there may have been some disappointment from somebody's mother, maybe your mother was disappointed that you got pregnant, but I feel like there's some attraction still here, and you're moving forward. Why is the five of pentacles here? Clarify the five of pentacles. Yeah, you felt like this person was your true love, your soulmate. I feel like you have a soul tied to this person, okay? You two, when everything was good, it was good. You know, when you two were together, when it was good, it was it was really good, right? But I feel like somebody wants to hook up, meet up, link up with you, spend time with you. This may be a new love, a new connection. I feel like you broke up with this person, and there's new love coming towards you. True love. Okay. This is a true love coming towards you. You could be dealing with a fellow Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, because the tables turn on this karmic partner. The tables turned on this karmic partner. And they're going to be receiving some sort of a karma. Okay. This was meant to happen. This was destined to happen. This person, you know, you put them out because they were getting into new connections with people. And... Hook up and meet up with them. You know what I'm saying? And this was like a repetitive cycle. It just kept happening over and over and over again. <clears throat> One more. Why is the Two of Cups here? Clarify the Two of Cups. Or Cancer. But I do see a new connection coming in for some of you. Now everybody's story is different. So take what resonates and leave the rest. If it doesn't fit, don't make it stick to your story. Yeah, look. Hmm. What happened was this player got put out for getting into connections with other people, having their options open. They may have been working behind the scenes with other people to try to move out or move away from the connection. They may have been working with other people behind the scenes where they're not speaking to you right now. Okay? But I feel like you're moving forward. From a place of rough waters to calmer waters. And you're very happy about that. You're celebrating some sort of... You're celebrating here. Some sort of abundance also you're celebrating. You're celebrating something. Right now you two are not speaking. At this moment. You two may not be speaking. You two may have had a verbal falling out. That doesn't mean they're not going to come and communicate. They're overthinking it. Okay? And guess what? It was meant to happen this way. It was. 
it is what it is. It was meant to happen this way. So with the two of cups, you know, what was that? The three of cups? Yeah. There may have been a third party situation that happened. But I do see that some new love, your true love, your soulmate is going to come towards you. And you're going to be happy. You're going to be celebrating because you met this soulmate. There's going to be a strong magnetic attraction. Excuse me. There's going to be sexual tension. And it's going to feel like a magnetic pull. Like spirit is bringing you two together. And with the lovers, this is Archangel Raphael. Okay. And now your person is going to be stressed out. Because you're shunning them off. Telling them to, you know, don't talk to me. But it's this person doing this. Get away from me. Don't talk to me. I don't want to be bothered with you. You're putting your foot down. Enough is enough. I'm tired. Alright. And I feel like you're standing strong. And you're protecting your heart space. This person may have been stressing because they feel like you're attacking them. Or you accuse them of something. Or they have to give their defense or excuse here. For being a risk taker. Taking a risk in you guys' relationship. And causing some sort of a tower moment. Which is a shake up or a break up. This person is very immature and childish. And that's why you had to ghost their ass. Okay, let's get some messages from the Romance Oracle. Any other messages for cancers? I'm sorry, you guys. I had got a phone call and it cut the, uh, the video off. It cut the video off. For some reason, whatever energy is trying to interfere, it won't let me speak right. But guess what? I'm going to get this message out today because y'all know I don't be stuttering like this. I don't stutter. So if I'm, if I'm doing that, there's an energy that does not want this message to get out. Like, the Knight of Wands fell on the floor face down. So they didn't want you to know in the beginning. They were holding this. They were, like, keeping this information to themselves with the Four of Pentacles about them being a player. They didn't want you to know. That's why it fell face down. Okay, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Somebody's about to tell you how they feel. It is safe for you to love this person. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. This may be somebody new who's about to express their love to you. Tell you how they feel. And it is safe for you to love. Okay, you don't have to be guarded or hold back or isolate yourself because you may be feeling like that. But you don't have to. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is, again, divine timing. This person feels like you're something worth waiting for. Alright, religious factors. There may have been a misunderstanding between you two. Alright, between you and whoever this is. Let's get some additional messages for you. Cancer, and then we can get out of here. I don't know what comes next. So this person... It's like very unpredictable. They'll tell you one thing and go and do another thing. Alright? And that's why you don't know what comes next with this person. It's like one minute everything is good and then the next minute is something else. Alright? Any other messages for cancer? Oh, that car fell. Where? Yeah. Face up. Face up. Let's see what this is saying. I'm so sorry these cars been falling all over the floor. I can't do this. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. You can't do it. Not with them. They're immature. The way that they act, not with them. Okay. One more. Cancers, thank you. I want you back. So somebody wants you back or you may want them back. I don't know. Somebody wants you back. Okay, for some of y'all, they want to start over, just like with the Empress. They want to start over. Some of y'all, they want your forgiveness. They're coming back around to reconcile. Somebody from the past is returning to your life here, okay? You may be pregnant or expecting a pregnancy. You may be finding out that you're pregnant. You may have children with this person. You're a mother. But I feel like you're very intuitive, mind, body, and soul. You're thinking logically and practical about the situation. And it's really disappointing you. 
It's really disappointing. That's gonna go. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling y'all, this energy do not want me to speak clearly. But here's what I'm gonna do. This concludes your reading, you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. I'm going to do a bonus for you guys just because of the interruption and me stuttering with this energy. I'm going to show y'all I don't stutter like this. And y'all know, if y'all been watching me since I started, y'all know, I just get straight into it. I don't be doing all of this. The energy is trying to keep these messages from y'all. But guess what? It got to come out. That's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. It got to come out. And so, I want to thank you guys for all your likes, share, and subscribes. And make sure you guys, if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn your post notifications on. If you like this reading, if it resonates with you, your person, or just if you can uh, relate to it. If you like the content, if you want to see me do more cancer readings, let me know. Okay, give this reading a big thumbs up. It really helps us out. And if nobody has told you they love you today. I'm telling y'all that I love y'all. I love y'all so much, Cancers. And I really appreciate all the love and support you guys show me. Bye, Cancers. I'll see you in the next reading, baby.